actually one of my favorite sports is gymnastics. Uh, just because I mean, those guys are pretty strong, just like the flips and also the girls. Everything that they can do with their body um, is pretty cool. I mean, they have like really good um, aerial awareness, kind of like the aerialists as well. But so like gymnastics is definitely my favorite sport. It's one of the sports I wish was off around my house that I could have done growing up. I think I, think I like wrestling a lot. That's um, something I know a few people that wrestle and I wrestled in high school too. And it's something that you have to push your body to the limit every day. And just watching people in the training room, it's pretty amazing to see what people can do. I think I admire, uh, well I'm an endurance sport junkie, so I admire the endurance sports like uh, track, uh, track and field, but the just the track events and then cross country running. And, uh, let's see, um, speed skating I always thought was really interesting, and then uh, Nordic skiing. I think swimming. Swimming, even when we have like those pool workouts and they tell us to do like five laps, I have to stop like half, I can't even do a full lap, I have to do like half, and I'm just like, how do people do this all the time? And it's like complete full body. That's why I like wrestling so much, because it uses like every muscle in your body. I think swimming is the same way, they use everything, and they have really nice backs. That's tough. Um... I'm not admiring other sports. <laughs> That's not true. Uh, <laughs> I, don't, I admire all of the other sports. I mean, I think to make it to this level, it takes an incredible amount of persistence and talent. And I mean, everyone here is extremely unique and extremely talented in what they do. And I don't think any of us could do what any other person here is doing. I mean, I couldn't race a bike up a mountain for sure. So. I admire wrestling a lot because I was a wrestler growing up back in high school. And it's the closest thing to judo than any of the other sports in uh, the Olympics. With that, I think being a resident here, a lot of times you forget how amazing the people around us are. You know, it's not every day you sit down next to Olympians and medalists and um, people that are just at the very top of what they do. Um, and it's, it's definitely a different environment to be around. I, I don't know that there's any one sport that I, I look at and I um, I think that there are any, any greater than other sports. Just it's whatever you're doing, it, people here are the best at it, and I, I really admire that. I really, that's a really tough one. I really, there's a lot of different sports that I know a lot of things to admire uh, in very different ways from disciplines to discipline. I, I think I identify a lot more as a fencer with basketball, which might seem kind of a strange connection, but fencing and, and basketball in some respects um, are very similar and that they're very open skill. They have to go from uh, assessing a situation and being able to make quick decisions, changes of decisions, and then um, acting on them very quickly, throwing people off. So I think that's one of the sports I enjoy watching the most, uh, especially the NBA playoffs, uh, NCAA tournament. It's something I really enjoy watching. And kind, of, kind of seeing all of the strategy unfold. Fencing and I think basketball have a lot of very quick decision making and, and very intricate strategy. Go Team USA! Woo! Go America! <laughs> <laughs>